Ashver.com. Hello, welcome to Ashver.com. You are watching interesting video on diabetes care in 10 minutes. Diabetes care in 10 minutes recently, the WHO revealed that 20% of the world's diabetics are Indians. With escalating obesity numbers and more lifestyle diseases reported every year, it's time we woke up to the reality of India's health issues. While prevention is the best cure for any for any disease, treatment and adequate response through lifestyle changes work well for those who've already been diagnosed with diabetes. Simple 10-minute sessions for diabetes care go a long way in preserving good health. All we need you to do is take 10 minutes out of your busy schedule, every day, and follow these steps. Take 10 minutes out to decide on appropriate footwear. Any ill-fitted footwear due to constant pressure at one point or the other can cause pressure, which can be converted into non-healing painless ulcer. It can also get infected due to decreased pain sensitivity in diabetes, which prolongs the individual's misery. So, so, appropriate footwear should always be a priority for diabetic patients. Take 10 minutes out in the morning to ensure you're wearing the right socks and sh Ketone Strips and Diabetic Identification Badge Instantly checks blood ketone levels, if you feel you are too high or low on sugar. Increased ketones in blood and urine signify acids which can be life-threatening and can also lead to coma. Early identification may help reduce the complications. A, a diabetic should also make sure to carry diabetic identification badge. This is because whenever you are in trouble, anyone can recognize and provide the necessary help. It is a must for patients who suffer from hyperglycemia, low sugar levels in blood as only 80 grams of sugar given by mouth can save a person's life. Take a quick test. With the help of your glucose monitor make sure to check your blood sugar levels first thing in the morning. However, the intensity at which you should check your blood sugar levels, is best advised by your diabetologist. Please note that before eating, the normal blood sugar level is 70 and 130 mg slash DL. And within an hour or two after consuming dinner, the glucose level should be 180 mg slash DL. Sugar Treats and Glucometer A diabetic person should carry some sugar candy in his pocket. If there is a sudden drop in blood sugar level, then one needs immediate sugar through mouth. Glucometer, on the other hand, keeps a check on routine blood sugar levels on a particular diet. Regular ambulatory blood sugar monitoring also helps adjustment of doses of insulin. Power up your diet. Whole grains such as, whole wheat, barley, oats should be consumed, whole grains help in lowering cholesterol levels. Oats have the ability to lower cholesterol by 8 to 23 percent and barley helps preventing coronary heart disease. Whole pulses and vegetables should be included in one's in one's daily diet. Pulses are important in the diet as their effect on blood glucose is less than that of most other carbohydrate containing foods. Vegetables rich in fiber help lowering down the blood sugar levels and thus are healthy. Good fats such as omega-3 and mu should be consumed as they are good for the body. Natural sources for these are canola oil, flax seed oil, fatty fish and nuts. These are also low in cholesterol and are trans fat free. Diabetes and Insulin Patients on insulin can have hypos after doing a vigorous exercise or unaccustomed exercise. Also, please make sure, in order to prevent hyperglycemia when exercising, those on insulin must have a snacks before exercising. Always check with your doctor before starting any exercise routine. Plan an exercise routine. Regular exercise for at least 5 to 6 days in a week is a must. Opt for 30 minutes of intense exercise at elevated and sustained heart rate levels. Brisk walking or jogging and muscle building through weight lifting are all good options. Improving physical activity is one, ma one major step in preventing type 2 diabetes. The goal should be to maintain a healthy body weight. And as far as possible, avoid abdominal fat, which causes insulin insensitivity leading to DM type 2. If obese, Try and reduce at least a few kilograms in order to get a head start. Self-risk assessment and annual investigation. 
those with a family history of diabetes, or those who are overweight, obese, follow a sedentary lifestyle, and have waistlines beyond 102 cms, for men, and 85 cms, for women, or a history of diabetes during pregnancy are at a greater risk of developing diabetes. If one has an underlying disease that must be cured such as hypertension or depression, then the risk of diabetes is even higher. Annual investigations should be done for early diagnosis and preferably to investigate the disease in pre-diabetic stages in order to reverse the disease. Thank you. You will find lot of interesting videos on a wide range of topics here, stay tuned.